So when you work on these classic V12s, the first thing that always alarms me if someone else has rebuilt this is the slotted adjustment for the camshaft sprocket should never ever be locked over to one side, right? Never. It should always be in the middle. And then when we look at the actual timing marks on this particular unit, we can quite clearly see that usually that little piece there should be lined up with the banjo. If you take the banjo spray line off, which you need to do to get the locking plates on, it should be there and it's there. I'm actually at TDC on number one there. Obviously that being number one, this part here, because I've actually um, got the old T-Mark lined up on the crankshaft. The good news for this guy is that I'll be able to turn the engine over. These will then be at the bottom. I'll slacken them, turn it back round and then the top ones I'll undo. And then I can literally just adjust the cam time in that way. And, and you know, everything should be tickety-boo there. But essentially with this, this M70 unit, it's two six cylinder engines. So this doesn't do anything. When you disconnect the coil, it doesn't do anything. The engine note doesn't change, which means this bank doesn't do anything. And the car is only running on that six cylinder engine. It really is literally like one six cylinder engine, second six cylinder engine. It's not like where the timing is crossed. This has its own timing, this has its own timing. They're like two engines, basically. Really, that's what they are. So that's how I found the fault. All the plugs were wet, good spark. Now, what did we find on the engine? Well, I used a cylinder leakage tester. And by the way, I got only five bar of compression. Not enough compression, but good cylinder leakage. 3% loss, fantastic. Because I was able to manipulate the engine into position I wanted. Therefore, I knew for a fact I had no um, loss of compression, not loss of um, leakage in the cylinder because of that. So, essentially, there you are, that's where we are with that. So, we need to now order some plates, and hopefully then we'll, we'll, we'll uh, get it fixed. But usually when these plates go on, and now I'll be able to put my finger in there, they should be flush with the head. This job was done about 10 years ago at a BMW dealer. I'm not taking the, to make it was done at a dealer. And that's the sort of work you're getting for thousands of euros, in my opinion. It's a bit pathetic. No, we all make mistakes, but it's not rocket science, that is it, Jesus, you know, every engine, BMW engine, especially the S-series engines, the, you know, the high-performance M engines, any M engine with a vernier pulley has to be set in the middle when you're done, like on a Volkswagen, you know, they're the same, there you are.